Three months after the death of Gene Ruse, his business lives on. Uncertain times at Brookwood Cabinets have given way to a brighter future. News Channel 15's Chris Darby went to the workshop today to find out what is happening next. Chris. Brett, police say Scott Roos killed his father, Gene, and hurt his mother, Sandra, back in July. When the incident happened, customers of Brookwood Cabinets rallied around the Roos family. One of those people, Lynn Reeser, visited Gene in the hospital. She says she didn't realize she was about to take over the company. Inside a nondescript building on Old Maumee Road, Lynn Reeser is taking stock of Brookwood Cabinets. She, along with a small group of others, are preparing to move the 70-year-old company into current times with the blessing of the Roos family. We all sat together for the closing and they were really, um, I would say, relieved that the company was going to go on. They, they took such good care of their employees, their staff. They were very, very close, small company like a family. Among that family, Kevin Haverstock, who takes great pride in his work, seeing cabinets and home furnishings be built finished and installed. Gene hired me right after I got out of the Army in 78, so I've been here ever since. He's one of four craftsmen working right now. We are looking forward to increasing and uh, improving. Also keeping an eye on the future of the business, office manager Mary Marcasano. We only put out a quality product. Gene demanded it. I'm sure Lynn will continue that. And uh, they are very good craftsmen and very proud of their work. Research tells me the staff will be expanding. A new CEO is already in place. She stressed the need for hiring more craftsmen and someone with CAD experience. Also in the works, a new showroom on Lima Road near Ludwig Road. Live in Studio 15, Chris Darby, News Channel 15.